Good morning everyone, it is April 5th and Vichy is on fire today. Uh, for the first couple of days here, we've been anticipating a breakout out of the wedge that Vichy has been stuck in since March 22nd. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the full analysis here we had, but uh, I'll link the video from two days ago for you to check it out and see what the analysis was like. Uh, but you know, this is looking great so far. Uh, we all know there's a lot of frustration with Vichy and either moving too slow or it's been having some sort of difficulties moving when the whole market is just exploding. But something you gotta keep in mind here that V-chain was literally at less than a cent not too long ago. If we if we look at the monthly chart here, uh, V-chain was at literally 0.8 cents five months ago. So I know everything is exploding and everything is just flying basically, but you got to understand that this is still looking, you know, beyond amazing for V-chain. Uh, but that's besides the point. If we go back to the four hour chart here, like I was saying, we're stuck in the switch for a bit. And as we were reaching the apex of this wedge, we were anticipating a break at the upside. Now, from a technical standpoint, uh, if we're trying to see what the next target is, if this breakout does hold, uh, we'd need to see how we entered the wedge initially. So if we were uptrending into it, then we are expected, uh, expected to uptrend out of it as well. And uh, the same goes basically for downtrending into it, then we will downtrend out of it as well. So. So now if we take the base of this wedge and see where the next target is, uh, which we already discussed in the previous video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. Uh, but so if we take the base of this wedge and forecast where the next uh, profit taking zone will be at and where the majority of the traders will aim to hold uh, to before selling, uh, then it looks like the first stop we're going to will be the 12 cent region. Now, mind you, the 10 cent is a psychological resistance usually, and I know we broke out of it like it didn't exist, but I would still give it the way it deserves. And I would uh, really be interested in seeing how the daily candle will close here uh, for VeChain because we could still see a pull back down to retest it or maybe even close below it. Uh, but that's something we definitely need to be patient with and see how it plays out. But overall, you can see how the RSI, uh, the relative strength index is already in the oversold region and VeChain typically here downtrends as soon as we enter the zone, as you can see here from uh, from previous levels we had. So uh, pull back down to the 10 cent would still be healthy and expected to happen. Uh, there wouldn't be anything out of the ordinary if we do that. The MACD is also looking good as well. We just flipped to the upside recently and now the buyers in complete control of the price action. Uh, another thing to note is the fact that the volume is extremely high at this candle, which is a very good sign of a healthy breakout. And it's telling you basically how the buyers were literally just waiting and decided to jump in on the price action as soon as we made a move to the upside. Um, overall, prior to the prior to the uh, to the breakout uh, or a breakout like this one, uh, you will notice that the volume would usually get quiet. Uh, there wouldn't be a lot going on in terms of trading activity. And that's uh, that's because both the buyers and the sellers are waiting for who's going to make that first move first. And knowing that we were uptrending into this wedge, the market knows that more than likely here, we will have an explosive movement upwards and would rather wait it out uh, till we reach the apex where the sellers and the buyers meet to fight it out, basically. So it's kind of like the quiet before the storm. But like I was saying here, I think that the 12 cent would be a realistic first stop. Uh, the most likely scenario I'm leaning towards here is that we will see retracements here and sellers would try to drive the price back down below the 10 cent. Uh, we're already seeing that retracement happen now. Uh, so we need to check during the day whether the 10 cent region is going to hold or not. I think this uptrend we, uh, we just had is nothing compared to what's coming for VeChain. Uh, the fact that we broke out of the 10 cent area is just the first stop. Uh, once we retrace back and actually find that support at it, that's when we'll see that, uh, that the market is going to pay a lot more attention uh, to VeChain's price action and more and more buyers will be interested in jumping in. But before we get too excited, uh, the 10 cent support has to hold. So uh, we need to align our expectations properly here and actually let the market speak to us first and show us those signs of support. So. This was your uh, quick daily V chain update. I just want to bring this to your attention. Uh, later on today, we'll get uh, deeper into the um, uh, price action and see where the next support and resistance will be at. Uh, so make sure you join our Discord as well. We post our analysis a lot more quicker than YouTube and it will uh, definitely help you uh, staying up to date with the market. So thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, uh, let me know if you agree or disagree with my analysis here so we can discuss it in the comment section. Again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.